ಶುದ್ಧೋ ಬುದ್ಧೋ ವಿಮುಕ್ತ ಶ್ರುತಿಶಿಖರಗಿರಾಂ ಮುಖ್ಯತಾತ್ಪರ್ಯ ಭೂಮಿ ಯಸ್ಮಾಜ್ಜಾತ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಜಗದಿದಮೃತಾಪ್ಯ ಸ್ಥಿತೋಯ ಯಾಂಶಾಂಶಾವತಾರೈ ಸುರನರವನಜೈರಕ್ಷಿತೇತತ್ ತಂ ಭೂಮಾನ ಮುಕುಂದ ಹೃದಿ ಗತಮಲ ಕೃಷ್ಣಮೇವ ಪ್ರಪದ್ಯೇ ತಂ ಭೂಮಾನ ಮುಕುಂದ ಹೃದಿ ಗತಮಲ ಕೃಷ್ಣಮೇವ ಪ್ರಪದ್ಯೇ ಮದೀಯ ಹೃದಯ ಕಾಶೆ ಸದಾನಂದಮಯೋ ಗುರು ಉದೇತು ಸತತ ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ ಸ್ವಾತ್ಮಂದ ಪ್ರಭೋ ತಗ ಸ್ವಾತ್ಮಂದ ಪ್ರಭೋ ತಗ ಹರಿ 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 ಓಂ ತಸ್ ಜಯ ಗುರು ಜಯ ಗುರು ವಿ ಶಲ್ ನಾವು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ತ್ರೀ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ದ ಜಾಯಿನ್ ರಿಸೈಟೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಓಂಕಾರ ಆಸ್ ಯೂಶ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂಗ್ತನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎನ್ಹ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ ದ ಲೈಫ್ ಸ್ಪ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಲುಕ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಯು ಅಗೇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟ್ರಬಲ್ ಸಮ್ ಡಿಸೀಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ may you have good health <clears throat> for all this this beautiful om vibration will be very helpful it is an energy that the living body alone can produce understand the greatness of sound <clears throat> all sounds and sound combinations have evolved from a u an m a u an m o o o interlock your fingers and put them on your lap sit comfortably erect close your eyes and open your heart and mouth and join me let the benedictory showers of the joint omkara recitation be available upon the whole earth and to all creatures have the sankalpa to this effect hari hari o number 7 of the second chapter karpanya dosho bhagata swabhava karpanya dosho bhagata swabhava prachami tvam prachami tvam dharma sammutha cheta dharma sammutha cheta yachreyasya ಯಶ್ಚಿತ ಬ್ರೂಹಿ ತನ್ಮೇ ನಿಶ್ಚಿತ ಬ್ರೂಹಿ ತನ್ಮೇ ಶಿಷ್ಯಸ್ತೇಹಂ ಶಿಷ್ಯಸ್ತೇಹಂ ಸಾಧಿ ಮಾಧಿ ಮಾ 
ತ್ವಾಂ ಪ್ರಪನ್ನ ಶಿಷ್ಯಸ್ತೇಹಂ ಶಿಷ್ಯಸ್ತೇಹಂ ಸಾಧಿ ಮಾಂ ಸಾಧಿ ಮಾಂ ಪ್ರಪನ್ನ we will recite the two verses we discussed last time sadrsham jeshta deswasya sadrsham jeshta deswasya prakrte jnana vanabi prakrte jnana vanabi prakritim yanti bhutani prakritim yanti bhuta ನಿಗ್ರಹ ಕಂ ಕರಿಷ್ಯತಿ ನಿಗ್ರಹ ಕಂ ಕರಿಷ್ಯತಿ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯೇಂದ್ರಿಯಸ್ಯಾಗದ್ವೇಷೌ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥಿ ರಾಗದ್ವೇಷೌ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥಿ ತಯೋರ್ನ ವಶಮಾಗೇದ ತಯೋರ್ನ ವಶಮಾಗೇತ ತೌಹ್ಯ ಪರಿಬಂಧಿ ತೌಹ್ಯ ಪರಿಬಂಧಿ ತೌಹ್ಯ ಪರಿಬಂಧಿ ತೌಹ್ಯ ಪರಿಬಂಧಿ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಥ್ರೀ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಸತ್ವ ರಜಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ತಮಸ್ ದಿ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ದಿಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ everything within the creation however small or big as a unit it may be it is constantly under the grip of gunas and their influences there is nothing that is not held by gunas the entire creation the inert as well as sentient part of it the mobile and the immobile creation all of them come under prakriti and the gunas the whole of the prakriti is so much that even a man of knowledge is acting according to the motivations of prakriti the only way to bring about changes is by one self none can control another one has to moderate whatever discipline or sublimation he wants to have all by himself he can be guided by the teacher he can seek a teacher's grace but the sublimation refinement and reformation have to be brought about by oneself through dedicated option and striving does it mean then that we have nothing to do and everything will be gunas and prakriti gunas and prakriti we are under the prakriti in spite of the fact we have an intelligence to understand matters that is why i speak and all of you are hearing it is a capacity which the other beings do not have how many books are preserved texts are preserved compositions are preserved in india we have Vedas, the immortal Vedas, prehistoric. We have Ramayana, Mahabharata, so many other things. All of them are a product of our mind, our thinking, our choice of words, ideas and all these. <clears throat> Such a conscious being as human beings, does he have nothing to do? Is he supposed to leave everything for nature? No, no. no the role of human being is to understand that nature is powerful and to avoid the harmful aspects of nature they are represented by rajoguna and tamoguna satvaguna is such that it is a product for the intelligence to acquire and also apply so become wise learn gain sufficient knowledge and try to apply that knowledge to your own mind emotions articulation activities etc 
this is possible you know in uh, bhagavad gita as a shastra has got six lakshanas about which i have spoken earlier one of the lakshanas or features characteristics is apurvada something very rare you know what is the rare factor or constituent in bhagavad gita it is the sensory regulation sensory regulation we have the senses they have their respective powers and potentials but in the matter of employing them and being guided by them there is where humanhood really really rests we cannot be behaving like animals and birds in employing our senses we have to have the principle of moderation reformation refinement sublimation evenization harmony integration all these are for our personality they are inner embellishments inner enrichments so he said that tayorna vashama gachye tauhyasya paribandhino understand that <clears throat> ragadveshas which are seated which are seated as caps on the sense objects they are your stark enemies in the path of spirituality evolution and advancement now he has completed it and he proceeds to discuss shrayan swadharmo viguna paradharma svanushtidad swadharme nithanam shreya paradharmo bhayavah i think all of you should understand this words in its full relevance rather right relevance shreyan swadharmo viguna shreyan swadharmo viguna shreyan swadharmo viguna shreyan swadharmo viguna paradharmad svanushtidad paradharmat svanushtidad paradharmat svanushtidad paradharmat svanushtidad swadharme nidhanam shreya swadharme nidhanam shreya swadharme nidhanam shreya swadharme nidhanam shreya paradharmo bhayavah paradharmo bhayavah paradharmo bhayavah paradharmo bhayavah i don't know how you will take what i am saying i am discussing this text in a threadbare manner you must have sufficient depth sufficient poise sufficient attunement subtlety in order to understand the relevance and also objective of the discussion of bhagavad gita itself when we are all under the grip of prakriti and the three gunas of prakriti alone motivate us all our activities come under them under them then is there anything like choice of action should you worry about which is better which is good and which is best and super best all of them are equally propelled by nature in as much as they are propelled by nature and you are also under them is there much choice for you a child is born maybe he has some tendencies he has no control over them he is growing up under the care and nursing of the parents and also the teachers whatever syllabus he taught in the school that alone a child can learn he cannot stand up and say this syllabus i don't like give me something which i like and i am interested in no choice is there so are we not governed by a certain flow in a very walk of life we have some tendencies inborn tendencies some tendencies are acquired also circumstantially in both of them we don't have much a much of a choice 
can you choose your parents can you choose always your school whatever is available and whatever is possible now we have a number of schools and colleges there are the private colleges and good and the best college is very very costly school education is very costly if you want to get admitted into a very good school even in britain it costs a lot of pounds there your parents must be able to afford it suppose they don't have enough resources to send you to the best school what will they do whatever is permissible within their limits they will adopt and send you so where is so much of freedom there so our birth we have no control over our growth also we have no control or option there then where is coming option so he says shreyan swadharmo vigunah paradharma swanushtida to think and compare that my work is not good his work is good that is better and this is not this kind of a thought itself is wrong the son of a butcher seeing his father butcher the animals he will also pick up butchery maybe he also inherits that tendency similarly a cricket man is quite likely to have another cricketer in his own child similarly people who are given to singing their children will be naturally driven to songs so there is a lot of inheritance there and so far as our upbringing is concerned we are brought up by our parents and they are doing it for the first time so will there not be some errors some insufficiency some difficulties and all that it will be there the world will always be like that it cannot be different we inherit some tendencies we also acquire some tendencies thereafter when we become an adult you are faced with a certain complex situation within that how to go forward is the question he says shreyan swadharmo vigunah suppose you find your tendencies are not very honorable appreciable as i said a butcher's son seeing the father butcher he also learns me butchering also he has inherited as a tendency so he will do it very naturally naturally the feelings that i am killing an animal the animal killing is very bad feeling of sin etc he may not have it at all everybody is working for his own sake his family is sake his married partner is sake his children sake society is sake why are you paying tax because the government forces you to pay do you have any option no when you buy material they put tax there gst or pst so the tendencies also are like that to fight against one's own tendencies and to create disharmony is wrong whatever may be the profession or pursuit or predilection that you have remaining within them you can still practice this bhagavad gita way of life and go forward what a celebrated sanyasin will attain at the end of his life the same can be attained by the complex householder trader or farmer at the end of his life it all depends upon cultivating a right attitude and developing a sense or note of surrender and attunement in that the intelligence is free any intelligence is capable capable of developing attunement and surrender attunement is an attitude is a dedication it enriches the mind it enlightens the intelligence so a butcher can do butchering in a very devoted manner a goldsmith can do gold work in a very dedicated manner a teacher will go on teaching also equally with dedication now what counts here is what is the attitude with which you perform and what is the ultimate objective you set before you 
so the change is in attitude and objective attitude and objective with the most noble attitude and objective even if you do a seemingly cruel act even then the attitude and objective will liberate you will take you further and further once you understand that we are within the grip of prakriti where is the question of shifting choosing or changing our activities and interactions we are born in a family our parents are fixed brothers and sisters also whatever is common to us and whatever is specific to us live by them don't compare notes my job is bad the other job is good suicidal to think so we should not whatever be the nature of the work the attitude of devotion the attitude of surrender the attitude of dedication that is what go- what is going to spiritualize your life not the actions that you perform shreyan swadharmo vigunah even if what you do characteristically in an inherited manner is not good not laudable not laudable even then paradharma svanushtitad suppose you aspire to do the work of somebody else it may be seemingly very good and you have an aspiration for it don't try for it let your stress be in the yogic attitude with which you perform and that attitude is common everybody should have it the brahmana should have it the kshatriya should have it the vaishya should have it and the shudra also should have it and people different from all the four they also must have it it is that attitude that attitudinal orientation that is going to count in the spiritual path i wonder whether i am clear to you swadharme nidhanam shreya <clears throat> many people join military and police services suppose there happens to be a war then the first people who are hit is the military the defense service suppose suddenly a war transpires and you have to confront an enemy how many will die do you know so death in pursuing dharma is not uncommon it is very common a person who is given to driving maybe a vehicle on the road land traffic water traffic air traffic all of them will be here will be there now also you hear something like a particular aircraft crashed a bus overturned one lost the brake and hit a lamp post all these things we are here shreyan swadharmo viguna paradharma svanushtidad either you have inherited to do a particular work or you have a predilection to do a particular work whatever may be carry on carry on bring all the change all the sublimation all the enrichment elevation reinforcement in your mind and the intelligence inside that is why this discussion becomes important Arjuna was shattered he was unable to stand holding his bow and arrow he threw them away and sat on the chariot something that you cannot expect in the lifetime of any heroic fighter but he did and what was his complaint this war is sinful it should not be fought everybody will go to hell nobody will be there to come back from there etc etc now it is that arjuna who went on listening to bhagavad uh, krishna and at the end said i am resolved i am stable i have got clarity my delusion is gone not one a score of mahabharata wars i shall fight if necessary krishna chessi the war situation did not change 45 million millions of people minus 10 died were 
killed in the battlefield of Kurukshetra 5,159 years ago. Swadharme nidhanam shreya. Swadharme nidhanam shreya. Suppose in pursuing your duty, pursuing your karma, death befalls even then, even then, that life is noble, great and holy. Don't think that our Defense Services members, they are going to do a sinful job. Certainly not. They are defending the country. When the defense is upset or it is challenged, they cannot keep quiet. It becomes one of bloody fights between the two. The assaulters, the encroachers and the others. Even if death happens in pursuing one's swadharma, paradharmo bhayavaha, he said, even that is great and holy. Oh, my karma, my action is not good. I would like to have a change, a replacement. A blacksmith feels, no, my, my, my blacksmithy is very bad. Iron is very oh, black in color. And all the instruments are used for farming and other things. I want to work in, on gold. So I want to become a goldsmith. No such change is necessary. Every metal, whether goldsmiths, gold, silver, or copper, everything is used by man, and each has got its value. A blacksmith can be equally a yogi, just like a goldsmith is trying to become one. There is no difference at all. Repeatedly I say that spirituality is a mentor intellectual pursuit. A mentor intellectual pursuit. It is there that we develop the right attitude, dedication, striving and the like. And they all bear their fruit. Swatharme nithanam shreya paradharmo bhayavaha Suppose you feel your, your karma is not good and you try to adopt another's, you will find that bhayavaha. I have no experience, I have no knowledge. Will I succeed or not? This kind of a fear comes. Shreyan swatharmo vigunaha paradharma svanushtidad swatharme nithanam shreyaha paradharmo if all actions are completely compelled by, motivated by Prakriti, then is there any need for choosing? Everything is equally Prakriti's display, Guna's display. That being the case, what is high and what is low? Who is great and who is ungreat? See, this is a very cardinal question. Swadharme nithanam shreyaha paradharmo bhayavaha. Altogether, altogether, there is only one dharma. What is the dharma? The karma that you do from time to time. And that karma is governed by the prakriti's gunas. So is there anything like choice there? Everybody is driven and persuaded by nature. You can have your own choice, but Prakriti will be around you, in you, through you. So there is no question of picking up any choice at all. Swadharme nithanam shreya paradharmo bhayavaha That is why Krishna repeatedly says in Bhagavad Gita, whoever follows this dharma, all of them will be liberated. All of them, all of them, all of them. In any school, in any class, not all of them will be first. One or two may be first and many others different. But here, all people can equally pursue the yoga buddhi, the yogic purity. 
Now Arjuna is hearing and he got a doubt. Athakena prayukto yam pabam charati purushaha anichanna pivashneya bela divaniyo jidaha. This is a very practical question. Athakena prayukto yam se athakena prayukto yam pabam charati purushaha. प्रगति इज मोटिवेटिंग एवरीबडी but that motivation is done through a specific process and some media are involved there suppose you want to cut something you must have a knife suitable for the purpose how many gadgets are we making every time it is to help and facilitate whatever choices we have in our action either domestic or professional or society So Arjuna is asking a very pertinent question. If prakriti is the cause of everything, you mean to say many people commit sin; they are given to sinfulness. This sinfulness, where from does it come? What is the root? How to deal with it? Krishna, tell me all this. So his question is very important. Athake na prayukto yam. पापम चरति पुरुषः अनिच्छन्न विवार्ष्णेय बलादिवनियोजितः अथ केन प्रयुक्तोय पापम चरति पुरुषः प्रोपेल्ड बाय व्हाट पर्सुएडेड बाय व्हाट इंस्टिगेटेड बाय व्हाट डस वन कमिट ए सिन Hmm. Hmm. Have you ever thought in this manner? Whenever we hear thief and unlawful activity, we always have a sense of blame towards the criminals. But how does crime annoy into the human heart and mind? At what point of time can you attribute it to the human? and what is he supposed to undo it get away from it this is a very important indispensable question enquiry in the pursuit of spirituality atha kena prayukto yam propelled by whom pabam charati purusha this human commits sin anichanna vivarshneya there are many people who do wrongs but internally they are not happy there is a resistance constantly in their mind anichanna bi they do not like to commit sin but still they are led to commit beladivan yojidah as if someone is forcing him to do so much of propensity they have but somewhere within his own body he also has a feeling that why am i doing this i don't want to do it i am not pleased with what i do what is the reason then atha kena prayukto yam pabam charati purusha anichanna pivarshneya beladiva niyojita propelled by what or whom does one commit sin अनिच्छन्न भी दो ही रसन वांट टू कमिट ही वांट टू डिस्वेड इट ही वांट द एंटायर वर्ल्ड एंड सोसाइटी फ्री ऑफ ईवल इट शुड नॉट बी नेसेसरी फॉर ए लार्ज टीम ऑफ पोलिस स्टाफ टू बी बिहाइंड एनीवन बट व्हाट हैपेंस इज something is persuading one to do wrong 
what is that inner motivation inner compulsion inner persuasion what is that fact kena prayuktah i am kamam chadati purusha propelled by whom engaged by whom does one commit sin at all sin by its very nature is detestable if it is detestable detestable it is detestable to all see thieves they always try to thieve at night if they consider that it is quite normal to do so why not they thieve during the day so this is a very complex situation kena prayuktah impelled or propelled or persuaded by whom purusha papam chade the human takes to sin anichanna bivarshneya there are occasions when the thieves themselves feel what are we doing i don't like to be a thief again or thief again so thoughts also come so it is clear that somebody besides their own mind and intelligence is persuading them compelling them to do this beladiva as if by force by force atakena na prayuktoyam papam jadati purusha anichanna bivarshneya beladivanyojit some force or power is wrenching them forcing them to do so this is what i have to tell you arjuna your question is what is behind the behind the commission of sinful things by man my answer is listen to it kamayesh akrodhayesh rajo guna samudbhavah mahashano mahapapma vidhena mihavairinam kamayesh akrodhayesh kamayesh akrodhayesh rajo guna samudbhavah rajo guna samudbhavah rajo guna samudbhavah rajo guna samudbhavah mahashano mahapapma mahashano mahapapma vidhena mihavairinam vidhena mihavairinam vidhena mihavairinam vidhena mihavairinam see the question is a very practical one don't think that all people who do sin they like to do sin somehow they are doing and their own minds will be revolting resisting somehow that revolt and resist they overcome and continue to do what they want it's all primarily what heart heart on the one hand mind on the one hand senses on the other so everything is done by our own personality in our personality we have the body and the senses inside the body personality we have the mind with all the thoughts feelings memory etc then we also have the intelligence which always seeks to know know and know anichchanna <clears> bivarshne <throat> beladivan yojidah I think if you ask the thief many thieves ask them do you relish your theft don't you think that what you do is wrong he will have to say yes i know but something else acts on him and the feeling is pushed aside and robbing continues so he says kena prayukta engaged or engrossed by which persuaded by whom dominated by whom purusha papam chaladi 
a human commits sin. You know, a sinful act is what follows. This act is following something. Following what? That is what Arjuna is inquiring. Our mind is not all sinful. We are born with a mind. How can you attribute sin to a child? So we are all born as children. We see and hear what elders do. And our growth is to a very large extent conditioned by the family, the parents, the brothers, sisters, neighbors, etc. So here Arjuna is asking, what is that inner factor which applies force in the mind of a man as a result of which he takes to sin? Actually he doesn't like it. Anichanna bivarsneya. He has his own resistance, resistance. Beladivan yojida. As if, as if forced by some kind of a source. After all, bad is bad, good is good, virtue is virtue, and wise is wise. Nobody will say what the thief does is right and noble. It is effective. So some people are drawn to it. So this is a deeper analysis of what is our mind, how does it work, what is the way to approach and enter oneself into the mind, etc. This is, this is very, very important. Sri Bhagavan Vaja. Krishna instantly replies, he has no problem in replying any question whatsoever. Kama yesha krodha yesha rajo guna samudbhavaha mahasano mahapapma vidhyena miha vairinam Kama yesha krodha yesha Kama yesha krodha yesha rajo guna samudbhavaha Rajo guna samudbhavaha Rajo guna samudbhavaha Rajo guna samudbhavaha Mahashano mahapapma Mahashano mahapapma Vidhyena miha vairinam Vidhyena miha vairinam Mahashano Mahapapma Mahashano Mahapapma Vidhyena miha vairinam Vidhyena miha vairinam <laughs> What forces a man, though he is unwilling to do, to wise? Very significant question. Krishna says, Look at matters as they are. Don't try to argue and counter-argue. Just observe and learn. Develop the right reason based upon truth, which will lead you to truth. So he says, Kama yesha krodha yesha rajo guna samudbhava. I don't know whether you will in a straightforward manner understand what I say. People are too much, too much. Deeply, deeply into several kinds of popular beliefs. If you want to know what is the truth, Bhagavad Gita presents it. Kama yesha krodha yesha rajo guna samudbhava. Pradhi has three gunas, sattva, rajas and tamas. All of them are equally active, one after the other. Rarely, it is not so. Kama yesha, krodha yesha, rajo guna samudbhava. I said that prakriti consists of three gunas, sattva, rajas and tamas. Rajas always propels activity, various kinds of it. 
that is the nature of rajas <coughs> so rajo guna samudbhavah kamah krodah kama passion desire or greed rajo guna samudbhavah it is born it is emerging from rajo guna <coughs> कामयेश क्रोधेश रजोगुण समुद्भव फ्रॉम रजोगुण अरइस स्वाट कामा डिसेर ग्रीड एंड पैश क्रोध डिस्लाइक रिसेंटमेंट एंड हेट आर यू एब्सॉर्बिंग द मेसेज फॉर व्हाट रीजन डिस ए मैन कमिट रॉन्ग एंड सीन ही सेज it's only because of his mind and intelligence <clears throat> what are the items that we have we have a body consisting of senses five are knowledge organs five are action organs we are more worried about than our knowledge organs then inside the body we have an emotional mind we have a rational intelligence and a rational ego then we sleep i think you should be patient at the same time insistent and persuasive in understanding this verse this what what you asked about propelled by what does a man commit sin propelled by kama he says passion greed possessiveness kama yesha krodha yesha again hatred on the one hand it is greed and passion on the other hand it is stark hatred which grows from kama and krodha which grows from kama when your desire and desire oriented action is obstructed and you are not able to progress further instantly the greed becomes hatred the force is not two the force is one esaha eva kamaha एषः एव क्रोधश्च दिस इज पैशन पैशन ग्रीड एंड दिस इज हेट्रेड रिलेक्टेंस इंटॉलरेंस फाइट रजोगुण समुद्भव दीज हैव देयर जेनेसिस इन रजोगुण रजोगुण इज प्रगृति लाइक सत्वगुण रजोगुण इज देयर सिमिलरली tamoguna also is there kama yesha krodha yesha rajo guna samudbhava mahashano mahapapma vidhena mihavairina mahashana hmm. mahashana means what it eats a great lot there is no sense of sufficiency adequacy for it see just like fire you throw anything combustible into it it starts blazing further further again throw it will go on blazing blazing and blazing like that mahashano mahapapma it is capable of making man commit any huge sin विध्येन मिहवैरिन नो दिस नो व्हाट कामा एंड क्रोधा बोथ आर टू साइड्स ऑफ द सेम कॉइन महाशनो महापापमा विध्येन मिहवैरिन पैशन 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 एंड हेट्रेड resentment intolerance these are ingrained in our system why 
because they are rajoguna products as rajoguna products just like sattva products are there tamas products are there rajoguna also will be there <coughs> rajoguna samudbhava glutton there is no end kama will never be satisfied however much you try to follow it and fulfill it mahapapma most fears and huge sinner vidhena mihavairina know this to be a star kenmi of words and seated here seated here in the world i don't know how many people grasp this proposition it's an analysis of your own personality and in this analysis what is repeatedly described and explained is first of all the mind secondly the intelligence they are the ones that move the body move the world consider that this is your vairi number 1 enemy number 1 kama is your enemy he is never a friend <clears throat> see sri rama and sita wanted to spend a years austere life after having <clears throat> liquidated the ramana's army consisting of 14000 fighters excellent fighters after that rama felt i shall be going back now after a year so let me make a hermitage and live there and be very austere peaceful and calm and they made their tent hermitage in janasthana this was at the suggestion of sages as i had somewhere mentioned about <clears throat> they said janasthana is the best place for it then rama put up his tent and they started living see that developed a garden and before long a golden deer comes there swinging the tail now and then looking at sita pass ho gaya so everything is gone if it was an ordinary deer we can understand it was a golden deer that goldenness of the deer is what i lured janaki she did not think further about it can there be a golden deer where is gold and where is deer in what way is different can i think that it's a golden deer and wanted to possess it lakshmana reminded to his brother rama my brother <coughs> don't be deluded we are in a land where we have so many enemies every time we are under their surveillance now this is a witchcraft displayed by some kind of a rakshasa or an asura so let us not trust it at all then shri rama said okay if that is the case i will punish you janaki never asked for any any material at all any time in her life so this is because of the cute deer somehow her heart has been pulled so i will chase it if it is an enemy of ours then i will kill him otherwise i will bring him just see even lakshmana's lakshmana's timely reminder did not work there as janaki was desireful rama was desireful to appease and fulfill his janaki's desire and then what happened this love for the deer resulted in hatred for lakshmana sita went to the extent of saying your brother is calling you for help 
and you are trying to defend yourself saying i know my brother he will never be assailed by anybody please don't force me to go he has particularly entrusted you to my care when he comes back if you are not there what will be the situation then she said oh oh i understand why you followed your elder brother you want him to die so that you can win over me it will never be possible i will jump into this river and disappear there even now i cannot excuse this janaki for this who is she to make such a remark she only got married to rama rama must have grown Lakshmana and Rama, their age difference is only hours. They have been living together. Marriage has not brought about any change in loyalty or lessening of Lakshmana's loyalty and oneness with Sri Rama. And he knows him well. How can Sita claim, particularly in the matter of archery, experience, life, etc.? But see, she drove him away. कामयेश क्रोधयेश रजो गुण समुद्भव इट्स ऑल ए क्रिएशन ऑफ रजो गुण महाशनो ओ ह्यूज अनकंट्रोलेबल हिट महापापमा लिमिटलेस सिनर विधेयन मिघवैरिण अंडरस्टैंड दैट इट इज एन एनिमी एंड सीटेड डीपली विद इन युअर बॉडी what was the discussion propelled or persuaded by which a man is forced to commit sin and sri krishna says that desire and passion are the only factor behind it now i would like you to evaluate in your own way your mind and the desire and greed ingredient of that mind how the mind produces greed possessiveness fascination how it produces the entire spirituality is centered on this one point mind and passion mind and passion mind and greed mind and possessiveness do we need to possess anything or we want dispossessiveness what is it that we want by possession will our objective be fulfilled world is not was not born day before yesterday we have got long history of the world and human life running into millennia so we can analyze from all this kama yesha krodha yesha रजो गुण समुद्भव महाशनो महापापमा विधेयन मिघवैरिण डिड ई मेक दम रिसाइट सो ई विल रिसाइट यू आर ऑल्सो फॉलो देन वी शेल स्टॉप काम ये शक्रोध ये काम ये शक्रोध ये रजो गुण समुद्भव रजो गुण समुद्भव महाशनो महापापमा महाशनो महापापमा विध्येनमिह वैरिण विध्येनमिह वैरिण आई शेल स्टॉप नाउ दिस टाइम एज आई मेंशन एलियर वी आर गोइंग टू हैव ए Vishnu Sahasrama Japa session, in which we expect a few thousands of students will participate. I have always wished and felt that the students should be initiated into this Vishnu Sahasrama Japa. If you do it in a reasonably good speed, it will take maximum twenty-five to thirty minutes. Can you imagine? the human tongue and the brain put together the vocal system and the brain system they have formulated evolved 
1000 names of mahavishnu mahavishnu means what the power of sustenance behind the whole creation the world there are children who can recite the sahasranama at a very young age 6 year old children nowadays we find in social media a child is asked which is the 98th verse they will say what about the 10th 25th 42nd 56th 82 they are able to say what is our brain you don't know the capacity of your brain the power of vibration that we are able to make in the form of sound and the manner in which it acts that is why i was saying when om is chanted in the full swing it it increases the longevity of your heart longevity of your heart health also tremendously improves why don't you understand these things is highly scientific if matter medicines can cure diseases energy medicine cannot use this disease, change diseases cure disease between matter and energy what is more powerful you tell me matter is inert it is energy that makes it function so this is something that i thought of sharing with you let us stop संवेद्यवर्जितमनुतमेघमाद्यम संवत्दम विकलनम कलयन्महात्म हृदय कलनारिद्रिया तो कुर्वन्गर्तृपदे शमोदिदश्री कुर्वन्गर्तृपदे शमोदिदश्री hari hari we shall have the conclusion of omkara take your pose for it o